with a look at your Wednesday morning first alert forecast. So Reed, what can folks expect as they're leaving the house this morning? Yeah, at least wet roads. A lot of us are going to be seeing some rain on that morning commute, though. We had showers working through the Big Bend yesterday evening and early this morning, and that has kind of shifted up into southern Georgia. That's where most of our rain is going to come for today. Gloomy look outside of Oak Campbell Stadium. Lots of clouds. Temperature is 72 degrees. Mild. You can dress light, get the rain gear. Flash flood watches have been issued by the National Weather Service for Jackson County in most of our southern Georgia area. Again, the highest rainfall totals will stay north of that state line, so we're going to be seeing those watches in effect through tomorrow evening, 7 o'clock. So we got a couple rainy days ahead. Here's a look at the satellite radar. Shower storms working from west to east. Again, that focus was shifted a little further south earlier on, but it's been working north. Those roads will be wet along I-10, and for our southern Georgia folks, well, kind of a noisy morning out there. Lots of thunder, lots of the lightning been working from uh, Bainbridge all the way through areas like Valdosta and we're seeing a lot of that shower and thunderstorm activity clear through Adel and I-75 here soon. Moultrie folks stepping outside to some moderate to heavy rainfall. So again, it's a busy start. We got a couple busy days ahead today and tomorrow expecting a good amount of rainfall and thunderstorms in the forecast with some isolated severe potential. Those temperatures going to be staying mild through the next few days before we cool off again by the end of the week. I'm going to bring you all your first alert forecast details talking about thunderstorms coming up here in just a few more minutes.